Hello, everybody, and welcome to part three, or episode three, or act three, aka the final part of my DVD collection video. And today it's going to be the tackling of the Blu ray closet. I don't know how many Blu rays I have, but I have quite a bit of Blu rays, if you will. I would say it ends, yeah, it ends here. Here, so about three drawers full of Blu-rays. So, yeah, my Blu-ray collection has expanded a lot. I would say more than my DVD collection. I really don't collect that many DVDs anymore because I prefer Blu-rays. So yeah, I have some Criterion Blu-rays, 4K Blu-rays, and 3D Blu-rays uh, that you will see in the collection. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, with Zack Snyder's 300, great movie, 10 Cloverfield Lane, I would say an uh, even better movie than Matt Reeves' Cloverfield, awesome film, uh, 12 Angry Man, this is a Criterion Blu-ray, fantastic film by uh, Sidney Lumet, uh, 12 Years a Slave by Steve McQueen, incredible movie, 99 Hol Homes, this is a severely, severely underrated film. Fantastic. Uh, James Cameron's Avatar, of course, in the 3D. I've Confession, I've never seen this movie in 3D. I've yet to see it in 3D, but I'm going to watch it very soon in 3D. Uh, this is a set of two, I would say, pre um, old experimental films. A Page of Madness from Tenosuke Kinu, uh, Kinugaza and a, a Portrait of a Young Man. I've only seen A Page of Madness, which was really fucking weird and strange. I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, Argo, uh, Ben Affleck's Argo, amazing movie. Argo, fuck yourself, of course. This is another uh, Criterion set. Uh, Hard Day's Night to the Beatles from Richard Lester. Uh, one of the best, I would say, musical documentaries ever made. Uh, American Crime Story, The People v. O.J. Simpson. Probably the best miniseries I've ever seen. Um, just everything about it is just so good. So good. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Twitter world, this is yours truly. Uh, next, we have a Hollis Frampton Odyssey, Odyssey which is another Criterion uh, Blu-ray. Uh, it's a collection of uh, many experimental films from, uh, from Hollis Frampton. It's got 24 films in it. I don't know which the movies are. Another Criterion uh, Blu-ray, Anatomy of a Murder. I haven't seen this one, though. This is a Blu-ray here, uh, Masterworks of American Avant-Garde Experimental Film. You've got quite a bit of, uh, of movies. Um, 2K Restoration of Bad Mechanique. you got Blu-rays of Meshes in the Afternoon. Uh, so a really, I would say, a um, really good set for people that really want to see restored uh, works of, uh, I would say, older experimental cinema. A Taste of Honey by Tony Richardson on Criterion. A very good movie. Uh, next we have Animation Express. Uh, these are a collection of 39 animation short films from the National Film Board of Canada. Uh, Ali, uh, Fear Eats the Soul by Fastbinder. Another Criterion uh, Blu-ray. This is a, a remake of uh, All That Heaven Allows. This was a very good movie. Very much enjoyed it. Uh, Most Violent Year by uh, J.C. Chandor. Pretty good movie. All right, Streetcar Named Desire. I thought it was fine. It wasn't as amazing as most people said it was. I don't. I'm not a big fan of film adaptation of plays if they take place in like one location. The dialogue has to be really good. The performances too. Unfortunately, the dialogue is eh. Performances Vivian Lee and Marlon Brando are great, but it's not. You know, it's not an incredible movie as most people say it is. 
Uh, Day in the Country by uh, Jean Renoir, a um, Criterion Blu-ray. This is a, this was pretty good. It's only it's only forty one minutes long because uh, some of it was lost. Alien by Ridley Scott, classic adaptation, fascinating movie. Link- Nicolas Cage playing uh, the Kaufman brothers. You know, Nicolas Cage and Nicolas Cage. Awesome. I fucking love Nicolas Cage. He's a great actor. He's completely aware of himself. Uh, Blade Runner by Ridley Scott. Another Ridley Scott movie. Great movie. And in my opinion, a better ver- a better movie than the first one, which is Blade Runner 2049 by uh, Denis Villeneuve in 3D. I have not seen the 3D version. Uh, I bought it because it was actually on sale. But when I saw the movie, I saw it in IMAX uh, 2D. Uh, Batman the movie. This is the... Um, uh, the, the 1966 movie with Adam West and Burt Ward. Uh, Batman, Tim Burton's Batman with uh, Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, and Kim Basinger. Uh, if you've been living under a rock, Michael Keaton is going to play Batman again in The Flash. Uh, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be awesome. If that happens, it's going to be amazing. Uh, Batman Returns, I believe, better than Tim Burton's Batman. Uh, Batman Forever, Joel Schumacher passed away uh, yesterday. Uh, this is, it's weird because I say that Joel, Joel Schumacher was one of the most influential filmmakers of uh, LGBTQ cinema. This is one of the best queer films of the 1990s, in my opinion. And even Batman and Robin, the dude knew exactly, exactly what he was doing. There was no way in hell he had no fucking clue what he was doing with the bad credit cards and the super, I mean, I mean, Strong, stylized action. I mean, he knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. People that say that Batman and Robin is shit, get out of here. It is a bad movie, but the dude knew exactly what he was doing. Dark Knight Rises. Um, surprisingly, people don't seem to enjoy this one, but this is actually my favorite one of the trilogy. It's, it's, it's an incredible movie. And, you know, I, I, I think, you know, I have that, that impact with it because... I saw the movie when it came out in IMAX, uh, 70 millimeter, uh, which was like one of the, probably I would say top 10 best cinema experiences I've ever had was with this movie. I was about, I was like four, I was like, no, I was 13. Uh, Breaking Bad, the complete second season. Uh, Jean Cocteau's uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, great movie. A little weird though, the voice of the beast scares the fuck out of me. Still today, it's another Criterion uh, set. Uh, Stanley Kubrick's Barry Lyndon, one of my ten favorite movies ever. I saw it, the first time I saw it, it was in, I think November? Last November? I was fucking blown away by it. What an amazing movie. Wow, I just, I, I literally was like, I don't know, three hours? Eh. I, I popped it in and I, wow, incredible movie. Probably, this is, in my opinion, Stanley Kubrick's best movie. Uh, nothing comes close. Not even 2001, Clockwork Orange, Shining. And, you know. uh, this is a box set, um, a Criterion uh, Blu-ray box set of uh, Stan Brakhage's, uh, most of Stan Brakhage's work. One of the most influential films, uh, filmmakers, sorry, of experimental cinema. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop with Eddie Murphy, classic. Uh, Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. I am very glad this movie won the Oscar over Boyhood. Uh, Walter Ruttmann's Berlin Symphony of the Great City, great documentary, very much enjoyed it. Uh, Boogie Nights by P.T. Anderson, I haven't seen this one, I know. Battleship Potemkin, a classic of uh, film school cinema. And here's another one, Breathless by Godard, a Criterion set, incredible movie. No one saw this one, but it's, it's one of the best movies of 2018, Bad Times of the El Royale. Incredible. Oh, let's hide these ones here. So, Baby Driver, starring Christopher Plummer, and uh, uh, nobody is Baby Driver. That's a, a bad, uh, bad joke. Uh, Boyhood by Richard Linklater. I bought the Blu-ray because I wanted to watch it, and then I watched it, and I thought it was shit. It's awful. It's, it is one of the worst movies of the last decade, okay? People say, oh, it's such a masterpiece. It's so good. It's so amazing. It's a 160 fucking five-minute nostalgia trip or, or of, look, here's Wii Sports. Look, this is Carmen Sandiego. Remember? 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 
And the acting really fucking sucks, except for Patricia Arquette and Ethan Hawke. The two fucking uh, children are terrible actors. God. I, I really do not like this movie. Boyhood, it took 12 years to make. Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I, like I said, I had it on Blu-ray. Uh, Christmas classic. Uh, Chronicle of a Summer from uh, Jean Rouge and Edgar Morin. I haven't seen this one. I got to. I got to. I really have to. Ah, uh, Le Mépris. Contempt. In my opinion, this is Godard's best movie. Truly incredible. Uh, camera Person, another Criterion uh, Blu-ray by uh, Kirsten Johnston. That's okay. Cars, Pixar's Cars, and Cars 2. The weakest Pixar movies. Uh... Uh, some of the weakest Pixar movies, because in my opinion, the worst Pixar film uh, is Onward. Uh, Citizen Kane, Orson Welles' Citizen Kane, a cinema classic. Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a great movie by Steven Spielberg. Another uh, Criterion set, François Truffaut's uh, Day for Night. Duck You Sucker, in my opinion, the greatest movie ever made. Nothing ever comes close to the level of artistry and uh, mastery of cinema of... Uh, Sergio Leone's uh, flashback sequences and Ennio Morricone's score is just completely iconic. Just truly amazing. Uh, Spielberg's Duel, one of the first movies by uh, Spielberg. I haven't seen it, though. Despicable Me, Despicable Me 2, and Minions. Whatever. They're, they're fine movies. Die Hard, one of the best action movies ever made. And Don't Look Back by... Uh, Ben Baker, one of the best uh, cinema verite documentaries. Next up, we have Doctor Strange Love or How to Learn to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. In my opinion, this cover is better than the Criterion. It's a steel book. We got Entourage the Movie, great movie. Uh, Easy Rider by Dennis Hopper, The Floor is Creaking. Don't mind it. Uh, pretty, pretty good movie. And finally, Louis Mal's Elevator to the Gallows. Alright, so I changed the location uh, just because the lighting was a little too powerful for this phone slash camera. And so now we've gone through this section here and now we're going to go right over there. Alright, so first up is another Criterion Blu-ray. It is Franju's Eyes Without a Face. I have not seen this movie, but I have seen the short film that is on this one here, The Lord of the Beasts, one of the most horrifying Horrifying documentaries I've ever seen. Uh, Five Easy Pieces by Bob Raffleson, another Criterion Blu-ray. Very good movie with Jack Nicholson. Of course, John Woo's Face Off with uh, John Travolta playing <laughs> Nicolas Cage and Nicolas Cage playing John Travolta. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, Fellini Satiricon by Federico Fellini, another Criterion Blu-ray. I did not like this movie when I first saw it, and I still don't like it. Uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's been a while since I've seen it. Last time I watched it, I thought it was fine, so we'll leave it as is. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's okay. It's not, it's not as good as, you know, the Harry Potter franchise, but it's pretty good. I enjoy it. Uh, Fantomas, it contains the five movies, uh, I would say the five uh, Fantomas films by uh, Louis Feuillard from 1913 to 1914. So these are old, very old movies from early cinema. Alright, next we got First Man by Damien Chazelle. In my opinion, this is Damien Chazelle's best movie. Uh, Furious 7, awesome movie. And The Fate of the Furious, I need to get all the other ones too. Uh, Fight Club, amazing movie from David Fincher, but we can't talk about it. Uh, Forrest Gump, very good movie by Robert Zemeckis, uh, one of his best movies, if not his best movie. Fant Four Stick by Josh Trank, uh, really terrible, <laughs> terrible movie, one of the worst superhero movies I've ever seen. But I'm a Marvel fan, I'm a Marvel completionist, so I bought the movie on Blu-ray. I actually got no, I didn't buy it, I got it for Christmas. <laughs> uh, Gnomeo and Juliet. Pretty bad movie. 
Uh, Gravity in 3D, one of the best 3D movies I've ever seen. A uh, great, incredible movie by uh, Alfonso Cuaron with Sandra Bullock. Uh, Gone Girl. Um, this is, in my opinion, David Fincher's best film. Gladiator, of course, by Ridley Scott. An incredible movie. Uh, Godzilla, this is the 2014 one, the the, the, the first movie in the MonsterVerse, the, the, the legendary MonsterVerse. I love, love this movie. I just, this movie's incredible. Uh, <laughs> and I really like the sequel too, Kong Skull Island and uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. I like all the movies from that, that MonsterVerse. Uh, Good Morning Vietnam uh, with uh, Robin Williams by Barry Levinson, great movie. Uh, Give Me Shelter from the Maisels Brothers and Charlotte's Wear, a fascinating movie on one of the biggest musical concert disasters of all time. Uh, Game of Thrones, the complete seventh season, that's my father's. The movie that ended racism, Green Book, uh, probably the worst Best Picture winner ever. I haven't seen Crash, though, so I can't really say, but I have to watch Crash before, but I, yeah, this movie, it's not, it's not that great. Um... House of Wax in 3D, uh, one of the best 3D movies ever made, and fun, fun time. Uh, Henry V by Kenneth Branagh, pretty good adaptation of uh, the, the Shakespeare uh, play by uh, Kenneth Branagh, very modern and very epic too. Uh, Hanabi from Beat Takashi, Takashi Kitano, uh, this is a very good movie. Uh, Kitano is one of my favorite directors, and this movie did not disappoint the first time I saw it. Uh, Independence Day by Roland Emmerich, good movie. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's okay. This is the one that you have to watch, though. Philip Kaufman's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This is the best version of the Body Snatchers movies. This, in my opinion, is the worst one. Body Snatchers by Abel Ferrara. Awful movie. And The Invasion, slightly better than uh, Body Snatchers, but still really bad. Uh, It by Andy Muschietti, one of the best horror movies of the last decade. And it chapter two, very very mediocre. Uh, Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, I still believe, and I've seen most of Christopher Nolan's work. I still believe that this is his best movie, probably because I saw it in IMAX seventy millimeter the first time. And again, uh, I only, I've only seen two movies in seventy millimeter IMAX: this one and The Dark Knight Rises. So for and, and they're 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 two of the best cinema experiences I've ever had, uh, ever. So yeah. Uh, Pixar's Inside Out, an incredible movie. I can't watch it again because I'm probably going to cry a river. I rarely cry when I watch movies, but uh, yeah, ignore my Facebook that's been popping up. I don't know who's sending me a bunch of messages. Um, okay, next up I have the section that Martin Scorsese uh, recommends. This is the Martin Scorsese recommends section, which is uh, I have all the movies from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm missing a couple of shows on Blu-ray, but uh, whatever. Uh, Iron Man by John Favreau, very good movie, the start of the MCU. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, meh, it's okay, probably the probably the weakest uh, film of the MCU. No, 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 there's, there, there's, there is another, <laughs> no, there is another. Uh, Iron Man 2, uh, I believe that this movie is superior than the first one, sue me. Uh, Thor, it's okay, uh, Kenneth Branagh once again, this is a, the Shakespearean parts on Asgard are pretty good. The parts on New Mexico are hit or miss, in my opinion. Captain America, the first Avenger, I rewatched this a couple of uh, weeks ago, and I thought it was amazing. Really, really one of the best MCU movies. Like, top three, easily. Uh, the Avengers by Joss Whedon. Yeah, it's it's good, not great. Iron Man 3, for years, I kept saying it was the best Iron Man movie ever. It's not. It's a good movie, it's very entertaining, but Iron Man 2 is vastly superior. I have the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, I'm currently, I'm a big fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I really liked the first season, and uh, the series just got better and better. If people stuck around with it, they would have seen um, how better it got. Now the, se- the seventh season is playing, and it's really good. It's a trip down to Marvel memory lane. Uh, Thor The Dark World, a lot of people say, say that it sucks. There are some really great parts in this movie. The opening scene is amazing. But, uh, yeah, the movie's kind of hit or miss. Uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier, one of the best MCU movies. And also one of the best MCU movies, Guardians of the Galaxy. Second season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., vastly better than the first season. Uh, The first season of Daredevil, of course, a great Netflix show. And the first season of Agent Carter, uh, 
So the first season of Agent Carter was very good. The second season sucked. Uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron. It's a good. It's a pretty good movie. Ant Man. It's good. You know, it's a sort of my, mindless entertainment for two hours. It's all right. You know, it's not one of the MCU's best films or the best superhero movie I've ever seen. Like the the, the critique is saying right there. Uh, Captain America: Civil War. This is also one of the best MCU movies. I just I absolutely adore this movie. Doctor Strange, visually arresting film. Scott Derrickson, great director, but the story is a little hit or miss. The pacing kind of sucks. Uh, I don't understand the hate for this movie. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is one of the few 4K uh, Blu-rays that I have. And this is a Steelbook 2. Um, this is, I think, vastly superior than the first one. Just an incredible movie all around. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Very good movie by uh, John Watts. Thor Ragnarok. I love this movie. I love Taika Waititi. Black Panther. I'm going to say it. It's overrated. It's good. Not great. The, the fuck... The final, like, 30 minutes of this is riddled with terrible CGI. It's awful. I, I, I really don't understand why this was nominated for Best Picture. Best Original Score? Yes. Best Costume Design? Yes. Best Actor? It should have been. Uh, Ch um, um, Chadwick Boseman, but no. Avengers Infinity War did not disappoint. Awesome movie. All right. In my opinion, this is the worst MCU movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp. It serves as nothing but pointless filler. And it's not even, like, that entertaining. There's some good stuff in it. There's some very funny parts in that movie. Uh, the truth serum bits are hilarious. But as a whole, the movie's just... Eh. You know, you want to learn what happened to Ant-Man during uh, Infinity War? Just watch the mid credit scene. And there you have it. So the next one, Incel Warning. Uh, people will hate, will, will probably dislike it, because I actually like this movie. <gasps> wow, what the fuck? Captain Marvel in 4K. Yes, I like Captain Marvel. Sue me. I like this movie. It's okay. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not propaganda. Get the fuck out of here with that fucking Fugazi shit. L literally. Come on, guys. And Avengers Endgame, of course. This is the best This is the best MCU movie. Comes as no surprise to all of you. And then Spider-Man Far From Home. Pretty fun movie. And finally, Alain René, Je t'aime, je t'aime, which is one of the best films I've ever seen. One of my top 20 favorite movies. And also Alain René. And that's best film. All right, so moving on here to the second drawer, we've got John Wick, a great movie with uh, Keanu Reeves, uh, one of his best uh, action movies, or his best action movie, and John Wick Chapter 2 in 4K, um, a little inferior than the first one, but still a very good movie. In the, I don't have Chapter 3, but I really like Chapter 3. Journey to the Mysterious Island, uh, one of the first Blu-rays I've ever got. The movie's pretty mediocre. Uh, Jules and Jim, Jim, sorry, from Truffaut, very good movie. With uh, Oscar Werner and uh, John Mogul. Uh, Jurassic Park, the 3D version by Steven Spielberg. Incredible movie, of course. Uh, Kingsman, The Secret Service, uh, I love this movie. One of the best action movies of the 2010s. And the Kingsman, The Golden Circle, a fun sequel, but uh, uh, obviously inferior movie to the first one. Uh, La La Land, incredible movie. And La Grande Illusion from, uh, from Jean Renoir, I really like this movie a lot. Uh, Kubrick's Lolita, very underrated movie. Nobody really talks about it when they talk about Kubrick, but it's a very good movie. Uh, Life of Pi, Ang Lee's Life of Pi. Uh, your friend Khan is in this movie. He passed away recently. Very good movie. Visually stunning. Uh, Little Miss Sunshine uh, by... Uh, what's her name? Jonathan Dayton and uh, Valerie uh, Ferris. Very good movie. Very funny. Heartwarming too. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road. A fantastic movie by uh, George Miller. I don't have all the other Mad Max movies. But this is probably my favorite one. Uh, Moonlight from uh, Barry Jenkins, a uh, very good movie. Uh, in my opinion, a little tad better than the La La Land, but um, both movies deserve Best Picture if you want my two cents. Uh, my Darling Clementine by uh, John Ford, a great western starring uh, Henry Fonda. Moneyball, I'm not a big fan of Bennett Miller. I think the only movie that I liked from him was um, Capote. This movie was... Dull as hell. Did not like it. Did not care for it. Uh, Monterey Pop, one of my favorite, or no, no, the best concert film ever made. 
And the Criterion Collection Blu-ray has an essay from the great Armand White, The More You Know. If you guys could check out the interview that I did with Armand White on my channel, feel free to do so. And this is a movie that Armand White hails as one of the best movies of the last decade, and I agree. Man of Steel by Zack Snyder, in my opinion, the best Superman movie ever made. Nothing ever comes close, come close to the level of artistry and mastery of the visual art, uh, quite like Zack Snyder. Henry Cavill's portrayal of Superman is incredible. The movie is emotionally overpowering. The action sequences are incredible. They exalt a sense of, of visual artistry unlike anything I've ever seen. It's, it's truly one of the most marvelous films of the last decade. I'm not a big fan of Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I think uh, the ultimate cut is a vastly superior movie than the theatrical cut. The theatrical cut is garbage. The ultimate cut is watchable, but the movie is riddled with many, many, many problems that don't get solved with, a, um, with an extended cut, if you will. Uh, Suicide Squad by David Ayer, um, it, it has an extended cut, which I actually believe is believed to be inferior than the theatrical cut, but now there's calls to release the Ayer cut. I don't know about this one, but, uh, yeah, I don't like Suicide Squad. We got the Lego Batman movie, a uh, fun movie, uh, with, uh, Will Arnett as Lego Batman, uh, actually better than Batman v Superman, imagine that. Wonder Woman. By uh, Patty Jenkins, a fantastic movie with Gal Gadot. Great action movie. This movie sucks, Justice League. I uh, can't wait to see the, the Snyder Cut. Hopefully it gets released uh, early 2021. But, uh, yeah, this movie's terrible. It's it's garbage. The, um, you know, it's, I, I, it's not even Justice League. It's Justice League. It's awful. Oh, it's terrible. It, it, it doesn't feel like a Zack Snyder movie. It doesn't feel... Like anything Zack Snyder did in Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, it, it kind of is a betrayal of what he did. It's awful. It's awful. Uh, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, um, I thought it was going to be shit, and it surprisingly was quite enjoyable. And Aquaman, uh, this is one of my favorite DC um, extended universe movies, incredible visuals. It was insane. I saw an IMAX 3D when it came out, and I was completely blown away by it. It's a, it's, a, it's really, really fun movie, and Shazam is is equally as fun as as uh, as Aquaman. I really like it. I don't have Joker, and I don't have uh, Birds of Prey. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom by Wes Anderson, the fantastic movie, probably his best. Uh, Meatballs uh, by Ivan Reitman with Eddie Mur uh, Eddie Murphy, Bill Murray, Jesus Christ. Uh, very good movie. Uh, Mission Impossible by Brian De Palma. Great. John Woo's Mission Impossible 2. I don't like this movie at all. Mission Impossible 3 by J.J. Abrams. One of the best of the series. I don't have Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, unfortunately. But I do have Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. And the best one of the series, Mission Impossible Fallout. One of the best action movies of the last decade. It was incredible. Especially in IMAX, Jesus. Uh, Modern Times by Charlie Chaplin, a classic. Uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, actually surprisingly fun. Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, one of the best comedies ever made. And Monty Python's Life of Brian, which is as good as the Holy Grail. Of course, North by Northwest, this is one of uh, Hitchcock's best movies. Uh, Notting Hill, surprisingly uh, okay. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, Nightcrawler, a great movie by uh, Dan, Gil uh, Dan Gilroy. Yes, starring Jake Gyllenhaal in a career best performance, if you want my opinion. N David Cronenberg's uh, Naked Lunch, I haven't seen this one. Uh, Robert Altman's Nashville, I gotta see this movie. Open Season, this movie sucks. It came with, uh, it came with our old 3D TV, the Blu-ray of Open Season. So that's why I have it. But uh, now we have a new TV, which is a 4K 3D TV from Panasonic. Uh, because uh, our old TV broke. So, yeah, it came with that. Uh, Orlando by Sally Potter. Interesting movie. Not a huge fan of it. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Classic. Another steelbook. Uh, Pickpocket by Bresson. It was okay. Not great. 
Aha, Purple Noon, The Talented Mr. Ripley. Uh, great movie um, by... Um, and I think they came out with a great performance from uh, Annie Delon. Fantastic. Man, I accidentally pressed the record button. Whatever. Okay, next up we got Patterson by Jim Jarmusch. I'm not a big fan of this one. I think it's just eh. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. That also came with the, the TV. Well, it's okay. It's not, it's not amazing, but it's not horrible either. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Great movie by uh, Quentin Tarantino. I got all the Planet of the Apes movies. I got Planet of the Apes. Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And War of the Planet of the Apes. Okay? The first two movies are really good. Uh, Escape from the Planet of the Apes is terrible. Conquest is amazing, especially the ending. Awesome. Battle is fine. The Tim Burton remake, we don't talk about it. And then Rise, Dawn, and War are very good movies. Of course, Blart, 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 starring Kevin James. <laughs> Paul Blart, Mall Cop. This movie is absolutely terrible, but if you're a film aficionado, you got to own it in your DVD or Blu-ray collection. It's true kino. Uh, Pretty Woman. I still haven't seen this one. I got it, I got it though. Soon. Uh, Pacific Rim. Uh, this is an unpopular opinion, but I believe this is Guillermo del Toro's best movie. Absolutely incredible from start to finish. And Prometheus by Ridley Scott. I need to put it with Alien. Um, not a lot of people like this movie, surprisingly, but I thought it was very good. Alright, so we are moving on to this section right here. And it starts with Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca on Criterion, a classic Hitchcock film. Uh, I would say one of his earlier movies. Um, most of his earlier movies are lesser known, but um, Rebecca has been studied time and again in film school. Uh, Resident Evil Afterlife in 3D. This also came with the um, 3D TV, which is a terrible movie, by the way. And this movie, though, I bought it. Resident Evil Retribution. On Blu-ray 3D, this movie fucking kicks ass. I'm sorry, I love it. It's probably my favorite of the franchise. I don't have all the other ones because they suck, but this one, Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Uh, next up, we have Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One, a fantastic movie. Uh, I would say his best of the 2010s. Uh, Rashomon from Kurosawa, of course, a classic film. Run, Little Run from uh, Tom Tickwer, great movie. All right, so here we have the Rocky Heavyweight Collection. It contains oh, all the Rocky movies. So you got, you know, all the Rocky movies except for the Creed films. And I really like Rocky 1 through 3 unironically. Rocky 4 is a guilty pleasure, but it kind of sucks. Rocky 5 is absolutely terrible. And Rocky Balboa is good, not great. I prefer Creed and Creed 2 over Rocky Balboa. All right, next up we have Howard Hawks' Is that it? Yes. Howard Hawks' Red River. A very good movie with uh, John Wayne and uh, Montgomery Clift. Next we have uh, Spirited Away from uh, Hayao Miyazaki. It's actually the only Studio Ghibli film I have on physical. But most of them are, not, are on Netflix right now. Uh, in part one of my uh, DVD collection, I said that I had Sin City on um, Blu-ray, the theatrical cut of Sin City on Blu-ray. There it is. All right, next we have uh, Sunset Boulevard by Billy Wilder. Great movie. A great performance from uh, Gloria Swanson. Uh, this is Shoah from uh, Claude Landsman. This is the longest movie I've ever seen. It's about nine hours long. 566 minutes. It's extremely long. Extremely depressing. Grim. Wow. It's, um, it's very eye-opening, too. It's a very tough watch. Okay, next we have Seven Samurai by Akira Kurosawa, of course. One of my favorite movies of all time. I absolutely adore Seven Samurai. Of course, next we have Star Wars. This is the complete saga. Well, the complete saga when Disney didn't make any movies. <laughs> uh, it contains all six movies of the Skywalker saga, so the prequels and the originals. 
Uh, you got season one of Star Wars Rebels, season two of Star Wars Rebels, and season three of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, great show. I need to get season four, and uh, I actually need to get the Clone Wars on physical on physical too. Um, yeah, next is uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens on Blu-ray 3D. Um, uh, great movie by J.J. Abrams, of course. Uh, Rogue One, not as amazing as other people say it is, but it's pretty good. I think the the climax is incredible, but the rest of the movie is kind of muddled. It's okay. Okay, so this is a hot take, and I don't give a shit if people don't like me because of that, but I believe that Star Wars The Last Jedi is not only the best of the sequel trilogy, but it is the best Star Wars movie ever made. No fucking question about it. This movie fucking rules. I love Ryan Johnson. Absolutely adore this movie from start to finish. Uh, it's a hot take, and I put it, you know, I, I put this movie uh, number one. Of my favorite movies of 2017. But this one sucks though. Solo Star Wars Story. Absolutely terrible. Boring. I only saw it once. I don't know if I should give it another shot. But um, yeah, I fell asleep. It was terrible. And I don't have The Rise of Skywalker. Because that movie does not exist. Uh, okay. Next up is Silver Streak. Uh, with Gene Wilder, Jill Claiborne, and Richard Pryor. Excellent movie. Great comedy. My favorite of the Pryor and the Wilder collaboration. Uh, next up we have Sully by Clint Eastwood, uh, one of his best movies. Absolutely love love this movie. Uh, Steve Jobs by Danny Boyle, uh, his best film in my opinion. Danny Boyle is a very overrated director, but this one, holy shit, it's probably because of Aaron Sorkin's script. Incredible. Uh, Shaft by Gordon Parks, a black exploitation classic. Great performance by Richard Roundtree. Uh, okay, this is the all of the Next Generation movies, Star Trek Next Generation movies. I've actually seen none of these. <laughs> and then we got J.J. Abrams' Star Trek, excellent movie. And Into Darkness, which I believe is superior than the first one. And Star Trek Beyond is good, not great. It's missing J.J. Abrams' touch, of course. Uh, Saw 3D, that also came with the 3D TV. I actually believe that it's a pretty good movie compared to what other people think about it. Uh, Shane, excellent western, one of my favorites. Of course, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, a fantastic animated film that came out two years ago. Scarlet Street, uh, weird, very weird, strange, strange movie with Edward G. Robinson and uh, Joan Bennett. Uh, Stagecoach by John Ford, it's alright, not great. Uh, Skyfall, I've, I, I showed it in my Bond 50 set, but I do have the Blu-ray. Uh, my second favorite James Bond film. And of course, I do have Spectre, which I believe is just fine, not great. I rewatched it not too long ago. Uh, Spotlight, good movie. Did not deserve to win Best Picture. There is a long goodbye, and it happens every day. Robert Altman's best movie. Uh, this is Mir Narrow's The Last Laugh. Uh, okay movie with uh, Emilia Anings. I wasn't a big fan of it when I first saw it. Uh, this is uh, Abbas Kiarostami's The Coca Trilogy. It contains uh, Where Is the Friend's House and Life Goes On and Through the Olive Trees. I've only seen this one, Through the Olive Trees, uh, which I really liked, by the way, Through the Olive Trees. I thought it was fantastic. And uh, this is a Criterion, of course, remaster. Uh, Twilight. Uh, I had to buy this because I had to watch it for a class. Uh, pretty bad movie, if you ask me. Uh, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. This is uh, one of Sergio Leone's best movies, but it's not as good as Ducky Sucker. The Godfather trilogy. I got, uh, I've got. i only seen The Godfather 1 and 2. I've not seen Part 3. I don't think I'll ever see Part 3. Uh, the Shape of Water. A great movie by Guillermo del Toro. Uh, Touch of Evil. I still haven't seen this one. Virgin Suicides by Sofia Coppola. Of course, her best movie. Uh, the Conversation by uh, Coppola. Yeah, so we see Francis Ford Coppola, Sofia Coppola, and Francis Ford Coppola again. Uh, it's okay. The swimmer, the swimmer. This movie was fucking weird. I saw it uh, for a class, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" It's strange. It's wild, but at the same time, it's extremely compelling. And Burt Lancaster gives an incredible performance in this one. The Hurt Locker. I'm so glad this movie won the Academy Award for Best Picture over Avatar. 
and The Lady from Shanghai uh, by Orson Welles. Okay, movie. Uh, the French Connection, of course, um, with um, Gene Hackman, one of my favorite ever movies by William Friedkin. Uh, the 400 Blows, incredible movie from uh, Truffaut. Big chill, I have not seen this one. Next we have the Kennedy films of Robert Drew and Associates. I've only seen Primary, which I thought was fine. The Piano by Gene Campion. It's okay, not great. This movie sucks. The Searchers, I don't care. Of course, there's, there's a lot of influence coming from that movie, but this movie is incredibly racist, offensive, and super, 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 super stereotypical against Native Americans. It's awful. I hated it. I saw it this year. I thought it was terrible. And finally, we have Thin Red Line by Terrence Malick. Uh, I don't like Terrence Malick. I hate Terrence Malick. I believe he's one of the worst filmmakers um, ever. I don't care. This is his most watchable film. That says something. So this is my shortest section, if you will. Um, I still have two drawers to fill with Blu-rays. If... <laughs> so, so yeah, this is the last section of my Blu-rays. So we're going to move here with uh, Sidney Pollack's Two Tootsie. Uh... One of the best queer films ever made. I absolutely love this movie by uh, Pollack and it contains a great performance by Dustin Hoffman. Uh, Tokyo Story by Ozu. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of slice of life movies, so it doesn't matter if oh, it's groundbreaking because of the pillow shots. Get out of here. Uh, Michael Bay's Transformers. Uh, Transformers: Rise of the Fallen. Uh, Transformers: Dark of the Moon. And Transformers: Age of Extinction. I think Transformers 1 is fine, and then all, uh, Transformers 2 sucks. Transformers 3 is actually my best, my, my favorite one. I believe the action sequences are fantastic, and the intrigue, the, the, the pre-intrigue before the uh, Chicago battle is awesome. Transformers 4 sucks, and I don't have Transformers 5 because I hate it. And Bumblebee, I did not like it. The SpongeBob movie, SpongeBob Out of Water, great movie. The campaign, last time I saw it, I thought it was great, but I gotta watch it again, I think. Giving me a fresh perspective on uh, U.S. politics, if you will. Uh, the Lego Movie, a fantastic film. I prefer the sequel. Uh, the Hateful Eight, one of Quentin Tarantino's best ever films. Uh, the Breakfast Club, a classic by uh, John Hughes. Of course, The Raid Redemption. And The Raid 2, two of the greatest action films ever made. Alright, up next we have The Wolf of Wall Street. Incredible movie by Martin Scorsese. The Legend of the Drunken Master, I have not seen this one, and I also haven't seen uh, The Apartment, though I've heard great things about it. Of course, The uh, Shawshank Redemption, this is one of uh, Frank Darabont's uh, Stephen King's adaptation, but I prefer the green, the green Mile over this one, though this one is excellent, still a great movie. Okay, I gotta rewatch this one, The Rules of the Game by uh, Jacques Renoir, because, um, well, I did not like it when I first saw it. I thought it was dense, I didn't like it very much. Uh, the Adventures of Tintin, this is my uh, favorite movie of 2011, absolutely love it, one of Steven Spielberg's best movies. Uh, the Sound of Music, uh, I have to watch it again though. The Matrix, great movie by the Wachowskis. Uh, the Party, uh, by Blake Edwards. Yes, this movie is incredibly racist, incredibly stereotypical, but holy shit, Peter Sellers is hilarious in this movie. This movie makes me laugh all the time. The Wages of Fear, excellent movie by Anne georges Touzeau. Uh, the Complete Humphrey Jannings. Uh, this contains many of the short films by Humphrey Jannings. Good movie. Good good set, sorry. Alright, I have all the Lord of the Rings movies. I got The Fellowship of the Ring. The Two Towers. The Return of the King. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. The Desolation of Smaug. And The Battle of the Five Armies. I have all the extended editions, of course. Which are obviously vastly superior than the theatrical editions. Uh, Vicente Minnelli's The Bandwagon, great movie with Fred Astaire and uh, St. Therese. Uh, the Jungle Book, John Favreau, uh, much better than The Lion King. Uh, the Wizard of Oz, a great movie, uh, of course, classic. I need to see the 3D version, though. The Hustler, I still haven't seen this one. Uh, Tess by Roman Polanski, <laughs> it's okay, not great. The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, good movie, not great. The King's Speech, alright, I guess. <laughs> Oh, the nut job. I don't know why I have this Blu-ray, but, um, yeah, it's a terrible movie. As bad as I thought it was going to be. The Ghost and Mrs. Muir? Um, I've never heard of this movie, then I saw it, and I thought it was great. Great performances by Gene Tierney and uh, Rex Harrison. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2. 
Uh, at first, when I first saw it, I thought it was amazing because of the Spider-Man action that was in it. Just took my breath away, and it still does, but this movie absolutely sucks. Uh, next we have The Room, of course, by Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> A cult classic. The fucking man! Holy shit, I'm gonna come. And then right next to it, we have Uncut Gems. Of course, uh, I'm gonna give a hot take right here on this video. This is the best movie, not only of last year, but this is the best movie of the entire decade of the 2010s. And it came at the last month and at the last of the last year of the decade. God, this movie is so fucking good. Jesus Christ. Wow. So fucking good. And then we have Us uh, by Jordan Peele. A great movie. Much, much better than Get Out. Underworld Awakening. I love this movie. Underrated, uh, <laughs> underrated cult classic. Uh, Umberto Domenico Ferrari by... Uh, Vittorio De Sica, great Italian film. Uh, Ugetsu by uh, Mizoguchi, great Japanese film. Knock, knock, make the devil in. Venom, terrible, terrible, terrible movie. Uh, Vampire by uh, Dreyer, it's all right, I guess. Uh, Vertigo by Hitchcock, a classic masterpiece. Whiplash, another masterpiece. And here's another masterpiece. Wally. -E. All right, now that, next I have the remaining uh, X-Men movies. The Wolverine. Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. X-Men Days of Future Past, the Rogue Cut. I'm not going to tell you who gave, the, who gave this Blu-ray. Who gave me this Blu-ray. I'm not going to tell you who did. Uh, Deadpool. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Logan. Uh, Deadpool 2, I gotta, I can't see, <laughs> so you got Deadpool 2, like I said, Once Upon a Deadpool, and finally, Dork Phoenix. I like the Wolverine, I love X-Men Days of Future Past, and Deadpool, X-Men Apocalypse is good, not great, Logan is good, not great, Deadpool 2 is good, not great, uh, Once Upon a Deadpool, it came with Deadpool 2, whatever, and then X-Men Dark Phoenix is shit. Alright, well... That is it, guys. That is the Blu-ray drawers that we tackled uh, together. I hope that you have enjoyed looking. I don't know why, but I hope that you have enjoyed looking at the DVDs, box sets, and Blu-rays that I own. This has been an incredible adventure for me. It was fun filming these. It was fun ed editing these. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching these as, as much as I had making this video and this series. Uh, until next time, and I hope it will be very soon, until the next video, uh, I will see you soon. Ah, c'est tout simplement une hallucination collective. <laughs> <laughs>